When this artifact was first discovered, it caused an internet sensation way back. I didn't discover this one, folks, who ever did. All credit due to that person. So yes, the artifact I'll be showing you in this one is an older one, photographed by the Opportunity Rover. Like all older Rover photographs, the original links to those photographs no longer work. Looks like NASA revamped their website and moved the photographs and also changed the URLs. I found the link to this one after many hours of searching, believe me. So this is a panoramic camera photograph taken by the Opportunity. This photograph was acquired on the 2nd of February 2004. I downloaded the TIFF file and he has a look at that panoramic photograph. We'll be zooming in on the area highlighted there. Yeah, we're looking at that crop. I've removed the red filter and just adjusted the contrast and brightness a smidge. So let's zoom in on the highlighted area there. Check this out. It's that famous bunny ear or rabbit ear artifact that went absolutely viral when it was first discovered. Let's have a closer look at it. Here we are at six times the original scale. And he has an ultra close up. Check this out. We'll have a look at NASA's explanation briefly following this. Check this out, folks. Is it part of the mission litter? Like I've shown you with the Perseverance rovers, so many odds and ends lying about. But now look at this one. It's about three to four centimeters long. And apparently it moved. Because when I photographed this area again, it was no longer there. Check the little rectangular part in front. And then the three or four similar triangular parts to it, spaced evenly apart. And then these two brighter parts. Looks like thinner material. So what could that be? Let's have a look at NASA's explanation. I'll include the link to this page in the video description as well. The Great Bunny Chase at Mars Rover Landing Site. The part I want to read you is highlighted there. Rob Manning, lead engineer for entry, descent and landing. To quote, we cannot say exactly where it came from, but we can say that there are several possibilities. Cotton insulation, Vectran covers and wraps from the airbag, Xylon bridle tensioning tires or felt insulation from the gas generators. The list goes on. So, it looks like the jury is still out as to what this piece is. Apparently, they spotted it there underneath the egress ramp, but they can't say that it is that part for sure. So, it's about 4.5 meters from the lander what do you guys girls think this thing could be it is totally out of place there's nothing else like it in the entire panoramic photograph as always thanks for watching